Hey folks, Mel Foran here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be carrying on our campaign in Foundation, building up our medieval city. And we're just going to unpause and get going. We're uh, carrying on, obviously, where we left off last episode. We're trying to deliver these berries to the kingdom so that we can uh, build this fort that we were trying to do at the end of the last episode until we realised we basically didn't have enough money for it. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be working towards that and then seeing what else comes up today. A message from the church. The church has noticed your dedication to God, and this holds you in high regard. God is why we are all here. I guess it's because we, um, we're building this church. We're missing some of the materials for it, it looks like. Oh, no, waiting for builder, so the builder must be resting, I guess. Um, oh, actually, did we lower how many... Um, oh, we got an extra villager. Fantastic. I was just about to say, I think we lowered how many builders we have. Yeah, we have two out of three. Well, that should be enough, because we only have two, um, two buildings actually getting built, so I guess they were resting at home or something. And then they'll come out. Do you know what? We'll, we'll actually use that additional person as a builder, just so we can get on top of building these houses and, and all that other good stuff as well. We, have, we, we do have a trade deficit. Oh, it's because we're still importing those um, tools. So do you know what? I think we might turn that off for now. Uh, where's trade? This one. Resources. Yeah, I think we're going to lower this back down to 10. We'll keep the 20 that we have. We won't sell them. But uh, we were we were basically buying these. And then um, that's basically costing us all our money keeping these maintained. I don't think we need any more for now. Or I think we can deal with it lowering down and then we can kind of raise it back up again later on if we need to. We don't need to kind of tick it along at 20. That should, yeah, that's already changed this to minus 20, so... That is pretty good. Also, I think once these berries get given to the kingdom, uh, we should be able to export berries. Although, actually, do you know what? We might be able to change this. Uh, where do we go? Managing book. Sell everything above 40. We've got 51. I'm actually going to lower this to 30. And I don't think we have anything else in stock. Actually, we should have a check. See, is there anything we can assign here that we have? I don't think we do yet. No, we don't. Well, we could export stone, I guess. Interesting. Well, let's have a look. Does trade route... So at the moment we only have Northbury. Oh, it wants to buy... Oh, polished stone, which we don't have. Does want to buy planks. We could, in theory, sell planks, but we need those still for building things. We could make excess, I suppose, but uh, Joe, we'll leave it be for now. Once we have enough gold to... Um, to build this i think we'll have a look we'll, we can probably start building the the wheat farms and the granary and all that stuff and then we can probably sell bread or whatever we get from that so and um, that'll probably be our plan to start making some more money we're still at accumulate 30 berries we have one. Oh, do you know no do you know what no i've messed that up <laughs> i've actually messed that up we need to keep these we need to keep 50 of these that's why it was set at 50. Because you have to have... I can make 30 berries within storage facilities. And at the moment we only have two. Oh, so do you know what? It doesn't matter, does it? As long as it's 30. Well, we'll, we'll make it 35, just to be sure. And then we'll... Uh, yeah, we'll stock up um, to that amount. It says we have 52, though. Oh, I know why. Yeah, they've got, there's 50 in here. Can we lower how many... They stock? Oh, I guess not. See, this is a problem. They're basically being used by the market. And I think they're selling quicker than we're making them. But I think we have um, multiple people working on this. We have two out of three. And oh, we have no one that isn't in a job. Joe, sure, we could actually reassign one of those workers back. Uh, one of these builders back to this. And then I wonder whether we'll um, pick them up quick enough that we'll be able to out, uh, kind of be our uh, resource use. So we're selling six a week, so we need to harvest, well, more than six a week, basically. And then that should build this up. And then once we hit the, uh, the 30 that we need, we'll get 200 gold from this, which I think is enough to then build the keep. So I think the keep was 150, 125. So yeah, that'd be plenty. So we'll speed up time. So we're basically just hoping this starts building up berries. We'll keep this off to the side, actually, so we can kind of keep an eye on it. Oh, it's up to seven. Okay, yeah, that's going to work then. I think getting these um, 
this additional worker in here is going to help us out with that. And then look, we finished these houses. People have somewhere to live. Probably build some more housing. I'm kind of surprised another one hasn't built here. Let's have a look. Can we do more residential? I guess we could move it along here a little bit more. I kind of want to keep this front bit free, but I, I maybe no one, no one else needs a house, I guess. And then we're gonna have, um, I think the wheat farms here. And then the windmill, we'll probably put the windmill like in the middle and then have the um, the bakery like closer to our city center, I think. And that's basically the only place we have to put it unless we buy one of these hexes back here and have it behind. We could, we could do that actually. Can we afford another hex yet? 500 coins, no. So we can't do that just yet. Need to build up a little bit more money before we're able to do that. Yeah, can we... I kind of feel like just stopping this. Is there any way to stop... Is it pause? Pause production. I don't know if that means we won't sell things, though. Like, I want them to sell the berries. Oh, yeah, it does, because I think they just picked some up. 47. Uh, we'll keep an eye on this as well. See whether this just keeps going down, so they're being sold. But they're not replenishing, which I guess that's what that means. But we'll see. It might be that he was already kind of in the process of picking up the fruit when we paused it. So we might not have paused him from actually being able to do it. We'll see. Yeah, we lost... Um... <laughs> well, the market made us some money, actually. So yeah, the market selling to our other citizens actually makes us money. Oh, we got a promotion available for someone. Our builder here. Yeah, we'll pay to promote him. And then we just got to wait and see. This should keep going. I think that's some more berries coming. Yeah, it is. And well, I suppose we could uh, track them here. And then we won't need to keep this open. Uh, we will have to keep an eye on this, though. Because, yeah, if people don't get food, they're obviously not going to be uh, not gonna be too happy with us. Lacks food. No, yeah, we're going to have to open this. We're just going to have to make lots of berries. <laughs> Well, you know, it's built up to 13. Even this replenishes, it's going to have 10. So it is definitely working. We could just make... I don't think we have another uh, berry patch in our land. I don't think there's one, like, hidden around here. No. Uh, there's one person unemployed. Is there? I thought we employed everyone. Let's have a look. Oh, no, there is. Yeah. Oh, newcomer. Oh, we got another newcomer. Okay. Um... So this is fully done. We could build up some more wood. Yeah, look, we've got zero wood and zero planks. So I think we're falling behind in wood production. Uh, not the warehouse. Sawmill. Nope. Where's the... Um, <laughs> where's the... Uh, the uh, the other guy? The forester. That's the one. Is it this one? No, that's the builder. That's him. That's this. This is the stone... Oh, no, this is the lumber camp. There we go. So yeah, we'll assign the free one to this. Because it looks like we're falling behind with the uh, kind of wood and planks production. So that'll get us some more wood. That should increase this, because obviously it'll be getting stuff coming in constantly. We are building up a little bit of on here. 17. Yeah, I think this is going to work now. Sure, we'll speed up time even further, because we're basically waiting for this to, to reach 30. Oh, we are making money now as well. What's we'll eight? Market and trading, so nice. Okay, we are actually in the money. They're gonna steal some more. Stop stealing our berries. <laughs> yeah, I kind of wish you could limit this. I don't know if that'll change in the future, but um, in a future update, I hope they change this. So you could limit it like for a temporary time, like put on there like maybe six months, don't replenish, just so we can build up in here a little bit easier. Because, yeah, these are going so quick. Although, I suppose it'd be quicker at the moment because we did starve people for, for a small amount of time. So, uh, they're probably catching up, restocking a little bit. Oh, see, that's got all the way down to one. Why has it gone down to one? I think we just sold those berries, you know? I'm just going to say no trade. I think we, I think we sold those, even though it said don't... S oh, do you know what? I think it means when we put this, sell above 
all above this value, 35. I thought it was meaning 35 in the in the uh, in the granary, but I think it's in total. It's over 35 here. Yeah, that must be what it was. So we've been selling them constantly. Okay, well, good to know anyway. And then, yeah, that wood's definitely helped because they're starting to build up the church here. So yeah, we actually, we should see this build up way faster. So yeah, I guess we've been selling them um, every time the trade has come because I misunderstood <laughs> how that worked. Um, I suppose you should probably put it to like 50, probably like 70. So we've always got 50 in the market, 20 in the granary. And then we've always got like a little bit of backup just in case something crazy happens. We've got another villager arrived. Nice. So what should we put them on? We've kind of got them free. We don't really need to do anything else at the moment. We could put a tr another transporter on. Although there's no point. We're not really trading that much stuff at the moment. I think we'll put another one on stone cutting maybe. Oh, we've got a lot of stone. Do you know what? We'll, just, we'll just put them on uh, the lumber camp I think. Just get some additional lumber for now. And then when we get the... Um, when we finish these and we get the wheat farm, we'll obviously reassign them to that instead. But for now, they must be doing something useful rather than just kind of sitting around, not really uh, helping us a great deal. Because we can always sell off the additional stuff, so... We'll, uh, we'll, we'll do that, is the plan. For... when. Oh no, she replenished this. I was going to say, where'd the eight go? But yeah, she was transporting them down here. Twelve. Stop replenishing. <laughs> I kind of feel like putting on pause again. Do you know what I am? I'm going to pause it. People can starve for a little while. We've got five to move over here. Yeah, I'm just going to build this up now. Because otherwise, we're just never going to do this. I suppose we could have built another one of these, but I don't want to build another one just to hit that 30. So, yeah, we'll pause this. Sorry, people, you're going to have to starve a little bit. Because I don't think we can build... Actually, do we unlock fisher... Uh, like, fishermen or anything yet? Food production. Cheesemaker. I'm sure there was fishermen. I don't, actually, I don't think we've unlocked them yet, but... Yeah, and we can't build these quick enough to kind of counteract this, so... Yeah, for now it's just going to have to starve for a little while. Unfortunately, but it's, you know, the price you've got to pay. Yeah, this is going to fill up really quick now. It's another two coming. Okay, yeah, yeah, this, that's definitely going to work. And in fact, they're just constantly uh, moving back and forth. Actually, are they a... Oh, they are a transporter. Oh, I see. So transporters in here carry goods everywhere. I thought they were just carrying things to the warehouse, but they do actually transport things between every other building as well. So actually, when we get another uh, villager, I think we'll put them in here. Just so we can get things moving around again. Um, a little bit faster, maybe. 27, so we're going to hit this in a second. Oh, they're obviously resting. Typical. Oh, I think they're building another house as well. Nice. So yeah, we get some additional housing. No access to food. Yeah, I know. I know. We've got to get three more berries, guys. And then you can eat again. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame like you can't put like a lock on this so they'll never get used or something like that. Maybe you can and I'm just missing um, where you can do that. 33. There we go. How do we deliver them then? Confirm delivery. Oh, there we go. Nice. Right, so we can feed people again. There you go. <laughs> we'll stop starving you. And yeah, we got that additional villager, so we'll put them in here for now. We might reassign them to the wheat uh, in a while, but we'll see. Uh, we've got a military mission available now, but we haven't finished the keep yet, so let's have a look. My lord, things are boiling up between the realm and other evil neighbours. I personally don't know what it's all about, but the king is requesting your help. Of course, you will be rewarded accordingly for your war efforts. The road ahead may be with uncertainties, so it's better be prepared. I'll prepare my troops right away. But we don't have any troops at the moment. Let me think about it. I'll do that because we haven't actually finished the keep. So once the keep gets finished, we can then assign people to be soldiers. But um, yeah, we can't do that once we don't have the keep. So yeah, we're going to have to finish that first. Well, these people are getting fed now, and then it looks like the church is finished. 
Oh, no, no, just waiting for a builder. So again, we um, having the extra people bringing wood in has helped. Actually, we can finish tracking this now. So yeah, it looks like the ratio is... We've got three in here and one in the sawmill. And it looks like the one in the sawmill is pretty much keeping up to up to speed with the other ones. So um, it looks like this is going to work out well, like a three to one ratio. We can put three in here, but to do so, we probably want to build another uh, logging camp like over here. And then we could probably put two carpenters and have like five um, uh, log cutters, basically. Yeah, this required 81. How many did the, how many does this need? 129? Okay. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, we're going to need quite a lot of those logs. I mean, we could, in theory, buy them. Oh, we've got enough coins. We, we're earning coins from our trading now, so... Yep, yeah, we can get this going. Obviously, it's not going to do quite quite that well, because we don't have that many planks. I think, we'll, actually, when we get a new villager, we might build another lumber mill and have it over here. Start clearing out more of this, because this is where we want to have our farms and things like that. And we're going to keep this as, like, a replenished, um, replenished forest in the future. But for this, we're going to cut this away and kind of expand our village into here once we can do. So, yeah, when, when we get a next one, we'll get another lumber mill going over here. In fact, we can probably tell them to build it and um, have it as a priority building. Um, actually, no, we want to keep this relatively free of buildings. So can we, like, we'll put it next to this for now. There we go. And then, uh, oh, it only needs five tools to get finished. Oh, awesome. I thought it was going to use wood as well to build it. We've got two unemployed villagers. We've just got some additional ones. So yeah, once this is finished, we'll put, um, I think, one additional one in here and one in the carpenter. And then, uh, yeah, let's assign one to here. And then one additional woodcutter here. And then that should help us um, increase these planks production quite a bit. We could buy some. Let's have a look. Uh, does our trade partner have uh, berries? Not berries. Planks? Cells? No. <laughs> it does not. It has everything else. It has fish. But no planks. Uh, they don't sell planks either. Okay, no one sells planks, so... Yeah, we're going to have to just keep that production going a little bit better. And if you weren't here for, like, the first episode... Oh, in fact, yeah, we should need to extract all of this. Because, yeah, we're, um, we're, uh, we wanted to clear this out so we can build things later. So, yeah, it looks like they finished deforesting all this bit, obviously. We've got this bit down for reforestation. Yes, so we want to keep all this reforested. If they do happen to... Um, actually, yeah, no, we want to put extraction here as well. So that means they'll chop down the trees, but they will also replant re the trees afterwards. So for now, we'll do it like that. We might change this later. We might move this back a little bit into this hill. But um, I think for now, it's going to work quite well this way. Put this right along here. Well, in fact, John, let's just do it all the way down here. But make sure the reforestation's on as well. Oh, and the church got finished. Nice. Bell frequency weekly? Sure. Bell type, light. <laughs> oh, light's the only option. <laughs> I thought maybe, oh no, you can change it, look. Bell pitch, oh that's pretty cool. You can like change the pitch and the tempo and how many times it rings. That's pretty cool, just like a nice additional uh, kind of setting you can put in there. That's pretty nice actually. And we're at maximum uh, immigration status, so we should get an additional, and there we go, an additional two. Fantastic, so that's all done. So I think we'll start building our um, uh, wheat farms over here. Like I say, it's a shame these haven't been chopped down yet, but is what it is. And then I think we'll put them... Like I say, I think we'll have them all here, because I don't think we can buy this still. Yeah, we don't have a free one, and we don't have 500 uh, coins. 
So yeah, we'll put him here and then we'll change it around later. So we'll put him right um, here, I guess. Yeah, we'll put him here. I think they'll come down and chop down these trees like extra quickly. So yeah, we'll do that. Build. Yeah, we'll do that. And then I think they just put, like, fields around them. I can't remember. We'll see. Obviously, once it gets finished. Actually, what we're going to do is going to reassign one of these woodcutters to this one so they're a little bit closer. They're, oh, actually, do you know what? That, that works as well. <laughs> just, I forgot we had the two unemployed ones, so we'll do that. We've got the two workers in here. We have an additional worker left, but we'll put them in this... Um, Wheat farm as soon as it finishes, basically. So for now, they can just chill, I guess, and, and do nothing. Get rid of all this. Yes, yeah, so we do have a build-up of wood, but I don't think it matters. I think we're getting basically getting through the stockpile of wood at a pretty decent rate. Obviously, we're not building up many planks because they're constantly being sent over here to build this keep and the housing as well which keeps uh coming up every so often actually i wonder if we should put some housing down here just so people live closer i, I know they get upset if they can't live near where they work so um i think we'll put like a little bit here basically i know it's not going to look amazing what once we've unlocked more of these hexes we'll probably kind of redesign a little bit how everything looks but for now we're kind of gonna kind of have to put things where we can whilst we only have this limited amount of space. There we go, he's chopping down all these trees. John, kind of tempted to put this as a priority building. Um, I think, yeah, prioritize building. Mm. Oh, the other quest is gone. <laughs> the military quest disappeared now. So No, do you know, we'll we'll finish this first. We'll finish the um, the wooden keep first. That's gonna take such a long time though. Oh actually, do you know we are stockpiling quite a lot of wood now. In fact then you know, what we'll do is Uh Gabinus You're gonna come work in here. And then we'll get more planks going, because then that's going to help with all of this. I didn't think this would build up quite as fast, but I guess we did go from having three woodcutters to having five. As you can see, they've cleared quite a lot of space. <laughs> quite a lot. Actually, do we have to build a, like a reforestation thing? Oh yeah, plants trees to reforest stones. I thought the the other guy did it. Oh, actually, we're nearly running out of... Oh no, 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 no the, the stone's still there. I thought we were like running out of stone for a second, but... We are not. It's fine. So yeah, we'll place this kind of in here. Then we've got like a... This is our carpenter. This is our loggers. And then we'll have the reforestation guy right behind. We'll prioritize this. Otherwise, we're going to run out of wood. <laughs> then we'll have to reassign um, one of these unemployed workers into this once it finishes. I didn't realize that. Um, someone probably shout out in the comments, but... Uh, yeah, I, I, for some reason I thought the loggers basically cut down the trees and replanted them. But uh, no, we need one of these. Uh, only over here, like I said, we, we want to clear this out, so that's fine. Is he just standing around? I am working. I mean, it doesn't look like it, does it? Looks like he's chilling, if you're asking me. I guess he's just having a little bit of a rest. I don't know how many people we'll need to assign to this. I'll start with one for now, and then we'll see kind of how um, quick it is compared to everything else. If they can keep up with the demand of the uh, woodcutters. Come on, Merilda. Is that you? Coming to finish this building? Yes. There we go. Nice. Oh, we can actually choose what kind of uh, tree to plant. Oh, that's pretty cool. 
Oh, you only have one forester anyway, so there you go. Yeah, one forester. And then um, hey, build a random um, allocation, I guess. Do you know what? We'll pick pine. Just so... I, I, I think these ones look quite nice over here. So yeah, we'll only plant pine. That will mean eventually these will disappear as they get picked up. But then we replant a different tree in its place. And then I think when we do cutting somewhere else, we'll, we'll pick a different tree or just allow them to do whatever they want. But uh, yeah, I think we'll have this pine over here. Looks like we've got maybe some more uh, people coming. Oh no, this is the trader from Northbury. He's probably going to buy some of these um, berries, I guess. He bought one berry, I think. <laughs> one berry was bought that day. Oh no, 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 no. We actually told it, it could do whatever it wants. Sell everything over... Uh, so what do we say? This holds 50... So yeah, we'll say ye like 70. So we'll keep a stockpile. Just in case. I don't know why we'd need an additional one, but I don't know. For now, I'm just going to have an additional amount. Just so, um, you know, if we do need them, we, we have them. We'll, we'll just sell everything over that um, at the moment. Once we have another food supply like fish or bread, we'll probably lower it a little bit because we can start putting them into here as well. I think. Oh, no, you can have one item. Okay, well, we'll build another market with bread um, afterwards. Oh, we've still got one unemployed. I wonder if we just put them in here. Oh, no, we've maxed that out already. We've got another two villagers. Okay. Start to build up a little bit here. Um, I mean, we might as well have them working, I suppose. Don't need another woodcutter. Some of them will turn into soldiers once this gets finished. What we got here? Builder. We'll, we'll pick up. We'll have one of them as a builder. Uh, this is maxed out. This is maxed out. Stone cutter. Joel, we'll have another miner. Why not? Oh, we've got another one as well. Okay, we'll have two more miners. <laughs> we've got so much stone. Um, I don't. Do we keep the stone anywhere? Like in here? We'll assign stone to this, and we'll say people can. Um, We'll say we can trade it. It does say they don't want it, but I wonder whether they would pick it up anyway. Um, if uh, by chance, I don't know, someone comes around. Uh, no, wait. <laughs> I need to pause that first. Let's say 40. We'll keep 40 of it. Because, yeah, it doesn't say they want to buy stone, but I don't know if maybe they do buy stone anyway by chance sometimes. But, yeah, you can see it all st stockpiled here all of a sudden. Here's our tools, and here's our mountain of stone. Yeah, to be honest, we probably don't need any more stone. <laughs> we could probably, yeah, unassign one of these. We've got so much stone. Oh, well, actually, unassign both of them. I think I'd rather have a stockpile of um, wood or something else. Or, Well, actually, there isn't anything else, is there, at the moment? Until we get this finished. Well, looks like they're getting some... Oh, no, that's the trader guy going off. Well, do you know what? Actually, what we'll do is we'll set up the rest of this production tree. So we'll get the windmill built. So, yeah, the farm is here. We'll put the windmill by the water, I suppose. That would look quite cool. And then we have to also build the bakery as well, which we'll put... Sure, we'll just put it right next to it, actually. We'll put it this way around, though, so the entrance is by the pathway. Oh, I haven't got enough uh, coins. Well, okay, we'll, <laughs> we'll wait. To be fair, it's the third step on the production tree, so we don't need it in any kind of rush. This is just waiting for planks and tools. Uh, actually, we might need to buy some more tools then. I think we are actually going to start using these. So, uh, yeah, where is... Yeah, we've got zero. So, yeah, next time he comes, he's going to buy another ten. So, we are making a bit of money, so let's up this to fifteen. And then we'll generally have enough to build things. Oh, no, this needs twenty. It doesn't matter. We, he doesn't need them all at once, so... He'll use the fifteen, and then next time he gets replenished, he'll use another five, I suppose. And uh, we'll just gradually build it up from there. And then I guess they'll build some... Uh, I wonder whether to fill in the rest of this with housing. 
Does it say anyone's homeless? Let's have a look. Um, view home. Does this mean they're homeless? Although they're 100% so they can't be homeless. Forest to level 1 lacks food, lacks water. Don't know why that'd be the case. There is food in here, isn't there? Unless we've used it all up. Yeah, it's 49. We've got the water. We could probably build another well somewhere else now. Although it's pretty central. I would imagine people would get to this quite easily. I wonder whether to build it up here, though. No, Joe, it's not that big, is it? I think he's just... Uh, not in oh, we've actually got minus money now. I guess we're, we're, we're buying so many tools, I guess. We've run into the minus money. Oh, yeah, we just bought the 15. So, yeah, that's why we've got no money. Joe, actually, we're going to lower the um, the berries. We'll lower this to... We'll lower it to 50, because we can sell 27. No, 37. No, 27. <laughs> we can sell 27 immediately. So, uh, yeah, we'll do that. And then that should give us some more money. Yeah, in fact, there we go. We're starting to make a little bit back. How close is this to finishing? Pretty close. Pretty close. And then... Obviously, all the uh, the wood that's been going into this will be put into these buildings instead. I do like, actually, that um, once you place a building, it keeps the blueprint here. And then you select to build it later. So you can kind of almost plan out your city in, in advance quite a bit, actually, to think about it. And you can think, okay, yep, we'll build the bakery here. We'll have this here. And then we'll, you know, have some other buildings down here. And then, obviously, once you have enough gold, you can then click to build them uh, when you can. But anyway, guys, I think we're going to leave it there for today. So uh, I'm going to keep these episodes a little bit shorter than my usual series, about half an hour or so, just so we can kind of get through them a little bit uh, a little bit quicker. And, uh, yeah, not too bad. Oh, I think, did it get, get finished? Oh, almost. So, yeah, we've almost finished the wooden keep. We'll finish that next episode, and then we'll get this second food production um system going as well next episode and then we'll see what else we can do i'm sure there's a bunch more buildings we need to get enough gold so we can expand because we're already kind of filling the gap we have um although i wanted this coastal one the problem we have is all these hexes actually this one might be a good one to buy yeah this one might be quite good there's a lot of land here we can actually use same with this one kind of and this one as well Actually, this one might be quite good. It does spread our city out quite a bit. Actually, no, yeah. We'll pick one of these more central ones. Like, I want this one, but it, I'm not going to buy this one because look how little land we actually have to use. And then we can use this for uh, fishing later. But, um, yeah, it seems a bit of a waste at the moment. So, yeah, I think we'll probably buy either this one or this one. And then maybe this one afterwards. I don't know. We'll see. doesn't really matter, I suppose, at the moment. But, uh, anyway, we'll leave it there for today. If you've enjoyed the episode, if you hit the like button, it helps other people find the series and the channel in the future. And if you're new here, this is your first video. I play strategy, grand strategy games, all that good stuff on the channel. So if that's your kind of thing, you know what to do. Hit subscribe. But for now, we're going to leave it there, and I'll see you in the next one.